So being afraid is perfectly normal. Mankind would have died out long ago if he hadn't been afraid of mammals or other wild or poisonous animals, fire or other dangers. However, if you as a street photographer take photos of strangers and leave out the 1% of people who appear to be dangerous, then your life is usually not really threatened. But why is almost everyone who starts with street photography afraid of it at first? Let's talk about it exactly. I want to share with you my experience of being nervous on the street and five tips that helped me a lot. Especially tip number three, which I find pretty amazing, especially for street photography beginners. And this tip I discovered only a few months ago for myself, which is so simple to incorporate into your daily street photography routine. So let's dive straight into it. When I started street photography about 15 years ago, I never thought about photographing people up close. I photographed house walls and people from behind from a safe distance. But I always wanted more, to get closer to the people, putting people at the center of my street photography. But I found that when a good photo opportunity arose, I always got too nervous to press the shutter button. Most of the time I couldn't even get my camera into position. Now I could have stopped and dealt with nature, architecture or animal photography because nervousness is not a pleasant feeling and we humans tend to avoid unpleasant feelings. But since street photography was the area that I enjoyed the most, I continued and in moments when the nervousness came back, I simply accepted it and took it as an indication that it is now really worth taking the photo. That leads us to tip number one. Accept your nervousness. Don't judge yourself for being nervous or try to stop being nervous. It will make you even more nervous. If you accept the nervousness and anxiety about a good photo opportunity, it will become less and less. It will still be there. I often still feel a little bit nervous when I see a really good photo opportunity, but it won't stop you from getting a good picture then, if you practice this. So tip number one also leads us to tip number two. Keep at it. Take pictures regularly and as often as possible. There is the rule about 10,000 hours of practice it takes to become a master in a field. Please do me a favor and give yourself at least 10,000 photos that you take with a feeling of slight nervousness before you say, oh, street photography is not for me. In most cases, you will see you won't need that many to become a more calm and relaxed street photographer. Tip number three, which I only discovered not so long ago and which I think is perfect, especially for street photography beginners, is about keeping the nervousness as low as possible. I do this by scanning all people coming towards me and all people in photographically interesting corners at a distance of 10 to 20 meters. When I meet a person coming my way or spot an interesting photo opportunity, I just focus on not bumping into other people and not losing sight of my desired subject while only looking at the building behind the person. So I can take the photo opportunity without further eye contact and this is really important. Please do not uh, have eye contact with the people you're shooting and concentrate on the composition. Of course, you should also be careful who you photograph here. No drunken people, no crazy people and so on. Tip 4. When using the fishing technique in street photography, so you're looking for a cool spot and only wait for interesting people walking into your frame, you can slowly get used to shooting people on the street without actively approaching them. They somehow choose to walk in your frame. Because nobody here suspects that you actually want someone to walk through your picture, you will often even hear apologies for destroying the image. I make most of my best photos using exactly this technique. Tip number five. You should also not forget that many fears and the tendency to be nervous have their roots in your childhood and in my childhood as well. So if you notice a nervousness in you, it can also help you to say that this is a fear that originally came from your childhood, which you don't need to carry with you anymore. Because as an adult, you'll be much better able to deal with the unlikely possibility that your photography will get you in serious trouble. Consciously take your inner child we on a photo tour, so to speak, and show them that they don't have to be afraid anymore. 
Finally, a little bonus tip for those of you with an affinity for statistics. Imagine a scale from 1 to 10. Now state the probability that someone will approach you on the street, call the police or even physically threaten you. 1 is unlikely, 10 is very likely. As a street photography beginner, you will probably place the probability higher than an experienced street photographer. How likely would a street photographer with a 10 years experience rate that probability? Maybe 1 or 2? Keeping this in mind brings you that much closer to a reassuring genuine probability. You see, the keys to reducing nervousness in street photography lie mainly in regular practice and accepting the obstacles on your way. How about you getting started today? Grab your camera and hit the streets. Happy shooting! See you in the next video. Yours, Oliver.